Hi, I'm Dan. I am the founder and instructor at AppStoreSchool.com, an online course showing you how to deploy an app to the Apple App Store. Even if you have no coding experience, I can show you how to get from start to finish with a published app in the App Store with no coding required. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your app's privacy policy details. Um, some background, in 2021, Apple added privacy policy disclosure requirements to all existing uh, application updates and all new applications. And let's take a look at what that looks like in the App Store. So here is an app that I recently launched um, in 2021 uh, called I Love Dog Sticker Pack. Uh, it is a sticker pack in the iMessages e ecosystem, and it allows people to uh, take any of these 80 images that I created and send them via text message. And my online course teaches uh, how to do that, and again, with no coding required. And part of that process is to uh, uh, submit our privacy policy details. Now, the thing with the, a sticker pack, the app doesn't collect any information. It just sends the information. Uh, it's Rather, it's, it sends the stickers to, to the recipients and doesn't get anything back from it. So we don't collect any privacy policy details. And for the privacy conscious consumer, that's, that's, a, that's a selling point. And uh, we want that to be shown. So let me zoom in here to the app privacy section here of the uh, sticker pack details. It says the developer indicated that the app's privacy policy Practicey, privacy practices uh, may include the handling of data as described below. And uh, in big bold letters, data not collected. The developer does not collect any data from this app. And again, that's the selling point for us. Okay, on the other hand, uh, in 2020, before these uh, Apple uh, privacy policy disclosures were implemented, I uploaded another sticker pack. I submitted one called I Love San Diego, and that is also in the App Store. And let's take a look at what the privacy policy says here for apps that were submitted before these, these requirements were added. And so it says here, let me zoom in, under privacy policy it says, the developer has not provided details about its privacy practices and handling of data to Apple. Okay, and in big bold letters, no details provided. This is not a good selling point, so we wanna fix that. Now fortunately, it's a really easy fix and it's only gonna take us a minute so let me walk you through that right now. So step one is we come to App Store Connect. That's Apple's developer portal. We'll log in. And the first thing we wanna do is click the My Apps icon on the App Store Connect homepage. It's the blue icon here at the top left. That takes us to our list of applications in the App Store. And from here, we're gonna find the one that we want to update, in this case, I Love San Diego, and we click on it. And now this is the app's uh, page details on the App Store Connect. And we want to go to the navigation on the left-hand side here and click App Privacy down here under the General section. That brings up the Privacy Policy page. And let me zoom in here and see what Apple is saying. It says the app store is designed to be a safe and trusted place for people to discover apps from talented developers just like you. Your app can influence culture and change live. So that's why we're counting on you to help us protect users' privacy. After clicking Get Started, you'll be asked to provide some information about your app's data, uh, collection practices, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and just click on Get Started here. Um, and then it talks us about uh, thanks for helping users understand your app's privacy policy practices. Remember that you're responsible for any third-party code that is added to your app. So if your third-party partners collect data from your app, you must represent that in your responses. And, it, and then it goes on to define what to collect refers to and what third-party partners are. For our sticker pack apps, that is not applicable because we are, we are not collecting anything. There's no third-party partners involved. It's just a real basic, here's an image, send it to your friends via iMessage. So uh, our answer to this question, do you or your third-party partners collect data from this app? Our answer is no, we do not collect data from this app. So we're going to select no there and click save. And then the final step we have to do is click publish. And a confirmation, publish your app privacy responses. 
This privacy information will appear on your app's product page. By publishing, you agree that your responses are accurate in compliance with the App Store. Review guidelines, etc. So let's go ahead and click publish. And that is it. We have updated our policy, our privacy policy to data not collected. And so, for example, when people come to the App Store now, they're going to see that in big bold letters, a data not collected, the developer does not collect any data from this app. So again, that's a selling point for our privacy conscious consumers. So if you have an app in the App Store uh, that was submitted prior to the 2021 uh, privacy policy requirements, I highly encourage you to go in there to the developer portal, spend one minute, make that change, and you'll be good to go. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to leave comments. If you've never submitted an app to an App Store, I highly recommend you check out appstoreschool.com. I've got a 10-week course showing you how to deploy an app from start to finish in 10 one-hour lessons uh, over 10 weeks. I walk you through it. I personally guide you. And by the end of it, you will be able to call yourself an app developer with an app in the App Store that you could even charge money for if you want to. So check it out, appstoreschool.com. Again, I'm Dan. Thanks for watching.